Okay, well, I've cleaned it up a little bit. I have my ground connection again here, my one meg resistor, my L3 here, and back here we got all of the coils connected together on this uh, terminal strip. This L3 comes up here, this is the power input to the exciter, and here's the AV plug, here's the L3 that's going down on the output let me back up here. Down on the output of this 470 mica, and then here where we're taking off of the collector side down to the six LEDs. Stay away from those, they're pretty pretty hot and heavy. And then we have these two that are just sitting on the board, so you can see that the field's quite large. Uh, the phasing, of course is quite important. <laughs> if you don't get it right, it doesn't work. And uh, you also got to be careful that these coils are far enough apart and at the right angles that they don't feed back into the L2 or you're going to have some massive problems. But uh, you can see that this thing's pretty well hot all over. As usual, <laughs> uh, the field that's around these things are un unbelievable. And this one especially because uh, I've really throttled this one back. I've got it slightly detuned from what we had it when it was on the four LEDs because the uh, loading does change when you add or subtract LEDs to it so you're actually shifting that frequency somewhat and uh, now I've had to readjust for the difference in the load and uh, I don't want to take it any higher because I'm tired of trying to replace these LEDs on this solder board so I want to be very careful that I don't uh, burn them out and here of course you can see that those are moderately bright for two of them just sitting there on an AV plug on the board so I just want to give you an update uh, obviously there will be a little more to come on this uh, we are using a proprietary transistor again. Uh, don't expect to ever make this work without it. MPS 006, you plug that in there, nothing will happen whatsoever. 